What's poppin' everybody? This is Dakota from the Slippin' Weed Podcast. Uh, today I'm going to take you through the keys to victory for Gennady Golovkin and Ryota Murata for their fight this Saturday, April 9th. You know, for Gennady, I think the key to this fight is to show his pedigree. And the main ingredient to that for me against a guy like Ryota Murata is that beautiful jab Golovkin has. You know, Triple G's got one of the best jabs in the entire sport. And when he uses it, you know, aside from being a great power puncher and a great pressure fighter, the jab um, makes it even more difficult for guys to get inside on him um, and to try to, you know, work with him because um, his jab is so probing and unpredictable that sometimes it's hard to know what's coming after it. And it's so hard in and of itself. You know, you get caught up getting focused on trying to defend that. Um, when I've watched Mirada, he's a little slower on his feet. Um, he himself doesn't lead with that with that left jab coming in. Um, and I think that if Triple G can, through a nice combination of maintaining his ground um, and also kind of keeping Murata turning, much the same way he did his last fight against Jaramata, um, you know, he did a great job of jabbing and boxing and moving and then mixing up the power punches with that. Um, I think that's his best bet for beating a guy like Ryota Murata. I think what he doesn't want to do is he doesn't want to let it get ugly. He doesn't want to let it turn to an inside brawl where his skills aren't necessarily the difference maker. Um, and that's going to give Murata chances. So the keys for Golovkin, honestly, for me, it's all jab and movement. If you're Murata, right, you're a bigger, stronger, taller guy, younger guy. You want to make Golovkin feel all of that. And that's really Murata's style anyway. He's going to come forward. He's going to keep that high guard up. He's going to have minimal head movement. He's going to try to maybe block a little something. But mostly, you know what he's trying to do. He's trying to get close and he's trying to bang. He's just got to be himself as much as possible, you know. And if he can mix some kind of head movement in, not a lot, but just something to give a little variation so that Golovkin doesn't feel too comfortable just letting go of a combination. Um, you know, that's going to be key for Murata. Murata's going to have to stay strong. He's going to have to make the fight a little bit ugly. He's going to have to hit Golovkin in the body as much as he can to try to slow him down and slow that power down. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, that's got to be the game plan for Murata is to make this a dirty, dirty fight. Overall, how do I see this fight going? I mean, I got to pick Golovkin. I think that Golovkin is the stronger fighter in every aspect. Um, I've said this on my podcast. I've said it on ITR with, with Luki. You know, I think the narrative of, of Golovkin's deterioration is very much overrated and overplayed. Um, I think if you look at his last fight, he looked really sharp. It just wasn't the right opponent. Um, but look, at the end of the day, anything is possible. Murata is a very hard puncher. Um, and when you have that kind of power, you know, you can see when you watch Murata, he's got some real thud to him. You know what I mean? Um, so, but overall, I would have to pick Golovkin probably by decision or late stoppage. If you guys like what you saw today, do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment on this video below. If you want to see more of what I do, check me out on the Slip and Weave podcast every Wednesday.